Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use selection sets and also um, how to create shapes from polygons and lastly we're going to be learning how to edit a group without ungrouping it. So we're going to be covering three tips in this tutorial. It's going to be quite short. So let's start by um, looking at this side, the selection set. Um, selection sets are actually sets that you create like from different objects that you want to select them easily without picking them one by one so what you have to do is just okay let's say i want to select all the blue spheres and be able to assess them anytime i want so i just select all the blue spheres select all the blue spheres and i'll go back go up here right here where i have create selection set if i click out you can see create selection set so i can um undo and go back to my selection so I'll just go back, go right here, right in here, I'll just type. So to create a selection set, you need to give this set a name. So I'll call these blue spheres. Right there. So I'll press enter. And the moment I press enter, it's already recorded right here. So um, I can also select all the pink spheres. Let's show you something right now. Okay. No, so right now I'll just go and type pink spheres. Okay, I missed the P. Okay, so I press enter. And right now I have two selections. So I can actually select the blue spheres easily. You can see the way it changed immediately. And I can do the other way go the other way around select the pink spheres so that's how selection sets works in max and the cool thing about selection sets is you don't have to like they're not grouped together you can still edit them one by one and even if I move this to this side and move this to this side or just do some crazy stuff with them the moment I go back to pink spheres select all the pink spheres irrespective of where you place them after you've created the selection sets so that selection set is very powerful in 3DX Max. So now let's move to creating shapes from polygons. Look at this chair right here. I just, this is not really, uh, I'm not really proud of this model though, but I just did it for this demonstration. It's quite simple. It's just chamfer boxes all around. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to be creating peepings for these, um, for these um, chairs, for the, for the for these um cushions or what um the pillows so I'll, I'll select this i'll go to my hedge sub objects menu so i have this i'll just double click on this loop and i'll double click on this loop as well you can create your peeping anyhow you want but i just want to create on um, this kind of pimp peeping like the one i did on this side something like this we're going to achieve this without stressing ourselves so i'll select these two edge loops and I'll go right to I'll scroll down on my in my command panel on my edit edges so I have um, extra chamfer a lot of stuff but I'll just go to my create shape and I'll click the settings I'll set it to smooth and name it I'll call it pipping P I P high N G so I'll press enter and right now it's already there but I can't see so I need to deselect this edge so I'll deselect or leave this row so I'll click out and now you can see the newly created shape so I just select the, select the shape and I can move it around anyhow I want and what I need to do now is give this sh um, spline a shape now because it's just a spline it's not renderable so I need to make it renderable and I'll do that very easily by just going to in my spline rollout editable spline I'll just click rendering enable in renderer also enable in viewport so I can see it in my viewport with that um, you can actually make it rectangular and adjust the width and the height you know the settings you can make it look like this or you can just use circular I like to use the circular because it looks more realistic so I can just go to radial now it's radial so i can just adjust the size you can see that so i'll leave it at this 
and so that's how easy it is to create shapes from polygons just go to click your polygon select your edge select your edge and click create shape that's it because i already uh, enabled um when um enable the shape in renderer it just automatically accepted it for this one it happens like that in material x max so you can actually change it if you don't want that so i need to select um click out and deselect this so that's how it works it's quite easy to create my phone is ringing right now sorry about that it's quite easy to um create um shapes from polygons in 3dx max you don't have to go ahead and model everything you you want so it's you need to learn to work smart so that's just uh what is quick tip is about now let's move to group editing this is actually a lot of fun for me i like this um i just did the similar thing i did here i grouped this chair i created the pippins i created the pippins and now what i need to do is i'm going to try to add material to this chair and to do that I want to make some part of it different colors and I don't want to lose my group like I already grouped it the group name is um, chair okay so to do that it's quite easy all I need to do go do is go to group and press open now that it's open you can see the group right here you can move the group around and you can go in and edit every one of them without ungrouping it so to do that I'll just go let's say I want to add a uh, a leather material to um, the chair like so so I just go ahead select all the parts that I want to make leather like this side this side this side this side this side this side I make it leather okay so I select all these ones and I don't want this to be leather so I'll just leave this out now I'll just drag my material onto the selected one so now it's asking me if I want to assign the material to the whole object or to my selection but I wanted to assign it to my selection so I'll just click selection and that's it so I want this to be the same color with the pippins so I'll select my pippin the two pippins and the base of the chair I'll just go create another material let's say I want this to be uh, okay let's just go with leather but we want a different color at this point so i'll just go to my material change the this is actually a preset um it's uh, i can design preset so i'll change it to let's say black yeah because the other one is brown it's just looking black in the material in the because um the color is black so it's looking like it's black so this one i'll just drag um okay sorry about that i'm okay i want to go back to my selection i selected this three so let me just change the material back to black change it back to black okay so i'll drag my material drop it on assign to selection so let me just differentiate this one a little bit let me change this to brown okay so this is what it looks like now I can go back to my group I can even go in and add modifiers to different elements um, different objects in the group like this I want to add a, um, a noise modifier to this so it can deform a little bit and look more realistic I'll just go noise on that because um, I enabled um, I created them as instances of each other you can see just applied it to the rest and that's another tip for instance we create an instance you don't need to go ahead and apply the modifiers one by one it just applies it to everything that is an instance of each other so that's where it works and also another thing about instancing is like this one if i don't want it to carry okay give like anything i do on this one i don't want these ones to take it anymore maybe i created this by mistake okay i duplicated it and it became an instance of this so i just click this and right here we have something called the unique button you can just click this button and you made it unique so whenever you do any edit on this one it doesn't affect this anymore but it will affect the rest as the instances of this okay let's look at that now so i can just go ahead and okay add my noise modifier you can see right away it's added the modifier to 
the remaining two but it didn't add it to this one so now i can even go ahead and deform this although that's not the scope of this tutorial but um let's just have some fun yeah so like so like so you can reduce the scale okay that's too much yeah to to get um the best out of that we just need to put a subdivide modifier over um over the edit poly to get more subdivision so let's where's the subdivide okay yeah so we have the subdivide modifier on this and it's affecting the rest too so i can now go back to my noise and adjust okay so i need to bring the put okay put it over like so okay so I need to adjust this a little more like the offsets so that's just how editing group works in 3dx max so let me just make this a little bit subtle like so okay so i was able to edit this and and made this one unique so it's not affected by this anymore so i can click my group or click anything another thing about group editing is like, okay i think that's the last thing i should just touch <coughs> is detach so even this one that i've been editing in others well i can easily detach it from the group by just clicking detach and now when i close the group this is not part of the group anymore but these ones are part of the group so that's how to detach and the same way it works is the same way you can attach anything that is not part of a group you can easily click it like this and go to group attach then you click any anything in the group like let me just click this place now it's part of the group again so that's how group editing works there are all that things to explore like the assembly and all explode so you can explode this and you can easily move them around after you exploded it like you just scattered everything at once you don't need to press on group it's just exploded like now it's no longer a group you understand so group editing is a lot of fun if you can master it i think you have the power to 3d x max so we cover three things we cover the selection sets the shape from polygon these are all just ways to make your work faster in 3dx max so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope this tutorial helped so don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later bye